It's time to take a look at the Kalita Wave and the Stag Brewer together. Now, this isn't going to be a, a two brewers enter, one brewer leaves type scenario, uh, but I have had requests to compare uh, the Kalita Wave and the Stag Brewer because they have some distinct similarities, uh, primarily being that they both have a flat bottom and use a wave filter type design. So it does seem prudent to compare them side by side. And what I'm going to do is brew on both of them uh, and, and taste and try to explain what the differences are. And I'll also I will comment if I think I, I enjoy one a lot more than the other. Uh, I, I am a, a Kalita Wave kind of person. Uh, I tend to brew most of my coffees on the Kalita Wave because uh, it's more of a full flavored extraction. Feels like a little awkward to say it that way because it's not quite the way it is. But if you compare it to like uh, Chemex, which is crisper, or a, uh, a V60, V60 I would call like more balanced than a Kalita Wave, but I like the richness, uh, sugar richness that the Kalita Wave extracts. Uh, and that, I think, is just owing to the fact that you've got a, a restricted flow through here uh, and the coffee has a little bit more time to kind of extract in sort of a pseudo immersion before dripping through. The Fellow Stag uh, has a similar flow restriction. Uh, it's got, uh, you know, a lot more holes than the, than the Kalita Wave, um, but a similar kind of thing and a flat bottom. So there isn't, the, the idea with the flat bottom is you, you, you aren't, um, concentrating flow to a place uh, so you should have less issues with channeling it's kind of the idea uh, also the slowing down of the flow rate helps with that as well the uh, the stag you might look at this and think okay it, it kind of angles out but if you noticed when you when you stick the filter in here all the way it kind of creates just like a column so uh, that's that's <clears throat> different from the Kalita wave which still kind of holds more of a cone shape. I don't know what the exact effect is of that. Um, honestly, I think the biggest difference between these two likely comes down to the major differences between the filters. The shape, the shape probably has some kind of impact as well, but I think mostly it probably just comes down to the filters and how they, how they treat the coffee differently. We're gonna brew them side by side and, and see what the differences are. The stag just does have some kind of like neat features. Uh, and I've talked about this brewer before, so I'll, uh, I think I even did a full video on it. I'll link to that. Just a quick rundown. This is, this is the primary brewer. This sits on top of your mug like that. Uh, obviously you put the filter in and the coffee in there. Um, it comes with this nice like kind of uh, funnel. So you can get the coffee in there cleanly without getting it around the edges. And then this also um, kind of, they, they build this as a measuring device and uh, like a staging area. There are like some dots here so you can like supposedly measure out your coffee. I never really like that system because you're just eyeballing it. Uh, but this is a really nice tool for when you're, when you're done. Uh, the A, that sits in there, but B, when you're done with the brew, just plop that in there and you keep everything confined. So it's in this nice, nice uh, container. Uh, and it's really solid, it's metal. Um, this is like a double walled thing, supposedly keeping heat in the brew. Uh, and that's fine. So that's kind of cute. Kalita Wave is the Kalita Wave, as you know. Uh, I use a glass one. There are other materials, plastic, metal, what have you. Um, filter goes in, coffee goes in, you brew. Ta-da, coffee. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and brew on both of these and then come back to you and try them, try them out and see what we see. All right, so um, I've got both of the brews done now. Uh, as a quick observation, this would probably be uh, a more accurate assessment if I had the smaller version of the Kalita Wave. It's the Kalita Wave 185, uh, and it would be more of a direct comparison to this if I was using the 155. But um, I think this should give us a clear enough picture. So let's just dive in. So this is the Kalita Wave. Um, 
what I'm brewing on here is a, is a natural Costa Rican coffee. So there is um, some like rich fruit sugars and fermentiness that comes out and I can feel like the edges of that um, with the Kalita wave. <clears throat> so that's good, like the deep sugary richness and the edges of um, like the, I don't know if prickly is the right word, but there's a way that the, like the natural kind of grabs at the tongue. As I kind of suspect, suspected, it's not in this brew. Um, interesting. I, I don't know. I would, I would actually, kind of describe this as smoother. But I would also describe it as lacking a little bit of dimension. This is the this is the stag. I mean, this is a this is a smooth cup of coffee, but I don't get the. I don't get like the the fruit fermentiness in it. So this actually, as I'm thinking about it, might be completely a um, like a preference kind of thing, personal preference kind of thing. Um, I guess my I guess my short assessment is that 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 aspect of the Kalita wave where it, it gets a more um, more flavor brewed into the cup, the stag doesn't do that as much. So that's kind of the comparison. Uh, and it's that aspect of the Kalita wave that I enjoy about it is that it does it does get more of those things into the cup. Uh, like as I'm comparing the two, like yeah, this is a smooth brew, but but it's missing some of the fruit. It's missing some of the fruit sweetness, which is um, really quite intriguing. Uh, it, what what's actually kind of interesting about it is it's it's akin to the flavor differences that you can find using vastly different shaped cups. So those of you who have who've watched my um, videos where I talk about different cup shapes, and I'll find that and I'll link to that below as well. Um, can see me talk about tasting fruit in one cup and not in the other when it's the same coffee. Uh, and I very deliberately used uh, cups that are shaped exactly the same. Um, this is standard coffee mug. So we're not um, specifically highlighting anything. Uh, and so the cup shape uh, is, is neutral. There's no effect uh, between the two on the cup shape. It's, it's entirely the brewers. But the, the Kalita wave is bringing out more of the more of the fruit fermentiness. This is this is more of a juicy coffee than this one is. But this one is smoother. It's very interesting. Um, yeah, I mean they're they're both uh, they both like are good brews, but uh, I'm I I err on the side of or not err on the side. I I lean on the side of picking the Kalita wave uh, because that's. That's my preference. I like having more of the taste in it. I like this juiciness, this like fermenty juiciness uh, and fruit juiciness that doesn't seem to be in here. Or possibly it's being drowned out. Um, and it, it, I should also say it might be that I need to dial in my brew on the stag a little bit more because I don't brew with it a whole lot. It did take longer to brew than the Kalita wave. Um, but I would think taking longer to brew would extract more as well. So um, that actually might end up being a knock against it. It's hard to tell. So uh, that's my, that's my uh, take on the Kalita wave versus the stag. Uh, similar like they actually both have a similar base in terms of of uh, richness of of the brew of the taste, but the Kalita wave seems to pull out more flavor than the Stag does. Um, and again, in this comparison, the Stag I would argue is a smoother cup of coffee, uh, and that is is the 
uh, I would say the fruit, the, f the fermented fruitiness that the Kalita wave pulls out has that kind of more like clawing at the tongue uh, sort of sharpness, uh, which I enjoy. So Stag versus Kalita. I still sit on the side of Kalita in terms of my preferences, but uh, you might enjoy differently. I think um, I think it's a really uh, fun brewer to have. I do like this kind of style, this kind of like minimalistic sort of style. If you're doing uh, if you're doing that kind of thing, I think that has an impact on a personal level uh, in terms of taste and enjoyment. Is what do you like in your style of brewing? Uh, I know that might seem silly to some people. The ritual of creating the coffee is uh, a lot of times just as important as the taste of the coffee itself. So uh, you might end up enjoying the stag more because you like this, this sort of like condensed minimalist style uh, versus the Kalita wave, which is, which is a little less so. So that's something to consider. Anyway. Those are, my, those are my thoughts and experiences. Kalita Wave versus Stag. Uh, if you have both of them, I would love to hear what you think. Uh, if you have any questions uh, further than what I've kind of explored here today, uh, a little hard to explore more than that without brewing a whole bunch of different coffees on these two. And I don't think I'm going to be able to, to discern a whole lot more than what I have here. But if you have any questions, of course, please uh, leave them in the comments below. Uh, let me know. And uh, please do subscribe and check out the link in the comments. I've got something for you free to download and check out. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.